This is a video introduction to the paper of the future. This document, written collaboratively online with Authoria by Alyssa Goodman, myself, Josh Peake, along with our co-authors, is designed to both discuss our vision of what the future of scientific journal publication can look like, but also to demonstrate a number of the features that are already possible with current technology. I'll take you on a short section-by-section -section tour of the document, highlighting specific features that go beyond what most journals currently support. While this investigation is likely relevant to a broad range of scientific disciplines, we focus here on our domain of expertise, astronomy. In this brief section, we motivate our work. Research has shown that while the standard linear story in a good journal article is compelling to readers, it can be greatly enhanced by offering communication on a number of different sensory platforms, including data and code linkages, interactive figures, audio, video, commenting, and other rich features can allow readers to engage with the work both more broadly and more deeply. While this work focuses primarily on the final journal article, in this section, we discuss new platforms for document production. These platforms were primarily designed to aid in collaborative article writing, especially as authors are more and more distributed around the globe. We provide a table of a number of resources currently available to astronomers. ShareLaTeX and WriteLaTeX are largely designed to provide co-authors access to LaTeX in a simultaneously editable, version-controlled environment. Google Docs is a much more general tool, capable of generating documents with very little barrier to entry. Authoria, the tool we've used to generate this document, aims to retain LaTeX strength while going beyond its authoring and output capabilities in, for instance, allowing markdown editing. Authoria has a number of rich features that we won't explore in detail in this work, but as an example, co-authors can comment on sections of the document or individual parts of a given section. The direct citation of data within an article, both the input to and product of a scholarly investigation, allows researchers to efficiently assess the results as well as produce new research based on the findings and data products. Historically, this has been done through the footnoting of URLs, which degrade over time and do not allow the citation of the data sets themselves. Digital object identifiers, long-lasting handles pointing to movable URLs, have been used for many years to track the journal articles themselves. These same DOIs can be used to point to data sets, and there are a number of services, including Zenodo, Dataverse, and Figshare, allowing researchers to do this today. Computer code is now inextricably linked to the scientific process, especially in astronomy. To allow readers to easily reproduce and advance published results, we can now provide direct access to underpinning code bases. The Astrophysical Source Code Library provides frozen versions of codes that are directly citable within astronomy through ADS, while GitHub and Zenodo provide similar service across disciplines using DOI. Advanced article platforms like Authoria can provide users direct access to the specific scripts that generated the results of the paper, as in this case where we can read and modify the code for a particular figure. One of the main motivations for enhancing journal articles is to provide the ability to tell better, more compelling stories. Audio and video can be used to enhance any existing paper simply by providing a summary or abstract, directly supplementing the storyline of the work. Audio and video can also be used more creatively, providing sonic or video representation of observations or simulations. These technologies, already easily available on the web and in PDF, can dramatically enhance an article when used in the right context. Chart interactivity, as it might be seen today in the Washington Post or New York Times, provides an arena in which readers can explore the data or high-dimensional results of a paper within some limited, guided space. The technology shown here was enabled by D3PO and is currently available through Glue and Plotly. Our universe is by nature three-dimensional, but three-dimensional objects are very difficult to explore on paper. 3D PDF capabilities already exist, 
and some authors have already used them in published work. One common problem unique to astronomy visualization is connecting discrete observations of individual regions to the sky as a whole. It is now possible to see images in context using the Worldwide Telescope. This section points out the advancements being made in citation and bibliography manipulation by more sophisticated software for journal article writing. The days of maintaining a local library and manually managing site keys for favored publications are waning. It is now possible in many applications, including Authoria, to cite with ease, further removing technical impediments to writing. Science is, by its nature, a conversation. It's a conversation in which formal journal articles play a crucial role, but are not the only form of communication. Today this conversation is happening digitally all over the world, and we want to capture it and how it links to journal articles. In this section, we discuss identifying researchers with ORCID and how today's researchers are interested in actively discussing journal articles with social networks like Twitter. Recently, the World Wide Web Consortium has decided on standards for annotation layers on top of the web as a whole. These layers, designed to provide commenting capabilities for websites, could be put to use with scholarly articles, allowing for discussions to happen on top of the articles themselves. These standards are designed to support commenting engines, such as Hypothesis and Domeo. While much of this may seem like futurism, annotation layers have recently seen a huge community involvement and commercial success in Rap Genius and the Genius brand. This work has focused on existing web-based technologies that can be used today. Looking to the future, it's not hard to imagine that we will develop better devices for consuming and interacting with scientific journal articles. These devices may provide a haptic and spatial relationship with the media we consume and create. We close by pointing out that scientific documents serve not only as ways to communicate with our peers, but also as archival records. Many of the modern technologies we've discussed in this work are not designed for persistence. And while services exist to preserve these kinds of data, we must also keep in mind that feature-rich articles should maintain printable forms for posterity.